So here we are. I just want to say, y'all, it is hot today. I keep water on me. If y'all are out like I am during the day in the heat, in the garden, keep some water on you. Before you go out there, while you're out there, and after you leave. Now, this is the Saba. Actually, let's, uh, let's see how tall these bananas are. I brought my tape measure. We're just going to let it drop. Might have to use the foot. Got these one-handed cameraman blues. So I will do it to this spot here. And what we got, 42 inches. So that's not bad. Let's see how long one of the leaves are. I know y'all, I might stop this and then come back on it, but I'm gonna check this one. Okay, so 42 inches tall and one of the biggest leaves right now is 41 inches. That's interesting. Maybe there's some type of correlation. But uh, enough of that Saba. Look at this square banana, y'all. And this is two. We call these the twin towers. Just for lack of a better term. But uh, look at them. they twins. And they, they towering over everything. One is taller than the other. But uh, they're both pretty tall. And here's a banana pup. And here's another banana pup. On this square banana. I was wondering if he was going to get some. Anyway, square banana is really tall. Let's just measure the tallest one here. All the way up to where well, the leaves finish coming out right up to there. That's where I'll measure it. For all of them. And so this one here, it shows the 64 and a half. Yeah, 64 and a half inches. And let me go ahead and measure the longest leaves. Put y'all like that or something. I don't know. Maybe y'all can see that. Maybe you can. I don't know. That's like 51 inches. Gonna get another measurement on the other one on the other side. And the one on the other side shows 53. So maybe this one that's popping out now is gonna be closer to 60 inches. We'll see. There she is. One of our favorite bananas right now. Sidewalk banana. I don't see any pups around here. I know right now is uh, what I call pup season. No pups at the moment, but there should be some before the end of the season. So we'll get our measuring tape here where it stops growing. Pick it up and what we have is, uh-oh. Looks like it was like four feet even. I saw the four foot sign. Yeah, it was like 48 inches, yeah. Four feet even. Yeah, so it's definitely growing. Last time I was out here, the longest leaf was at my waist. Well, the last time I showed you guys a video. And so there we have it. This biggest leaf is like 51 inches. Now the plantain is definitely not as big as the sidewalk banana, but it's up there. Actually, let me uh, start doing this the other way. Go from the bottom up, yeah. And so now you can see right at 32 inches. And as far as the length of the leaves, Yeah, we're right at 33, 34 inches. So 
there might be some kind of correlation between the height of the banana and the length or the size of the banana leaves. Now with this cabin this year, we got the big mama there, big mama. Then we got the mama and we got the daughter. And we got a whole lot of little bitty other grandkids there. But uh, we're just gonna measure the grandmama, big mama. See what big mama, oh, there's so many leaves out. I gotta hide up under here, son. Okay, so we go, there we go, right at three foot. Now, let's measure a leaf. So we got it up to the top there, down to the bottom, and it's like 45, 46 inches. So like I said, there might be some kind of correlation to the size of the leaves from the ground to the top of the pseudo stem, but just not sure right now. I just love, love, love looking at this banana here, these twin towers. Just gotten real big. If you remember last year this time, we had one square banana and it definitely, most definitely was not that tall. And now we got two that are this tall, huge at the bottom. The salva here is bigger than I'm used to it being. I, I just gotta say, I, I'm real happy with all this, you know? They started out a little shaky. It was kind of rough. And it didn't seem like they were growing too fast at first, but just did the stuff I usually do. You know, I put a little of the phosphorus out here. I always try to make sure I do some of the uh, fish emulsion every week, maybe every other week. Of course, I put some of the compost from my homemade compost pile up under all these bananas, uh, I think three times this year, once at the beginning, one time not too long ago, and then once when I didn't get to record it uh, before we went on vacation. But uh, this is magnificent, really happy. Only thing I could really say that I want other than what's going on is uh, a pup on this sidewalk banana. I'm getting to where I think I might dig this sidewalk banana up I'm not sure, but uh, we'll see. Time will tell. I want you guys to have a good day. Thanks for coming out to the Garden of Twitty. Y'all be easy. Peace. Peace and love.